Hello everyone, it's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. I've had quite a few lately and I'm so happy you've joined me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. It truly does help out uh, me a lot with my uh, channel and um, it helps you know anybody that you like on YouTube. You really should consider subscribing to them because it does help them quite a bit. Anyways, um, I am going to finish up the uh, Cardinal Rose Traveler's Notebook Christmas Journal I have been working on, and uh, today we'll finish it up. Um, before I get started, I did want to mention that I, I spent literally several hours reorganizing my playlists, um, and I think you're, you're going to find them much easier. I have listed uh, all the tutorials for all my journals individually, and I have put in the word tutorial to kind of alert you to what kind of video is coming up. I put descriptions in my playlists. I have organized the playlist so that hopefully part one, two, three, and four will pop up in sequence. Uh, I think this is much easier than what I had been doing. Uh, I, I I felt, uh, you know, that that it wasn't easy to, to find my tutorials or whatever, or to find whatever you want. I have listed some of them uh, by the name of series. So they're craft along series in which um, there are things that I show you how to do, but it's not necessarily uh, doing the whole journal from beginning to end. It's it's more uh, just bits and pieces sort of like what I'm doing here. And then I do have one large playlist for ephemera tutorials and they're usually each video is complete in the tutorial itself and um, so there's that playlist too. So anyways just you might want to check that out to see uh, if you, there's something there that you would like to watch. So today I have the front cover that I'm going to be doing and these here are um, from Ephemera's Garden. These are actually tags and I cut off the top part and they just go so well with Artie Mace's digital kit. Now these are patron only tags. They're beautiful uh, and I'm going to put down her link to her Patreon uh, to Ephemera's Garden because um, I really enjoy it and you know, you might want to check it out. And so I'll put that link down below. And we will um, glue this on together. So I debated on how much to put on the front. Just because there's so much going on already. Uh, and I think I'm just going to make it very simple here on the front. don't think I'm going to put too much on it. I am going to be putting lace down the spine uh, of the journal when I get the uh, signature show sewed in. So there's going to be that there on it as well. And I just thought this little red backing, I, I like red, particularly in Christmas things. I don't know. I guess it's just a traditionalist in me. And I'm going to just stick that on here a little to the right of the spine because I do plan to be putting lace down here and I didn't want it to cover up the front. So that looks very nice there. Now, this is what I like to do with my TNs. I like to put an elastic band as a closure, uh, just because they do get quite full, and I, I think it makes them more compact. So to do that, I am using, uh, oh, where did, here it is. I am using a grommet, and it's just a uh, <clears throat> regular size grommet. Gosh, I don't know. I should look at that. I think it's like a quarter of an inch. Uh, size ground, but you know, you can use any grommet size you, you would like. And I am going to be placing the grommet so the band will not cover up the label, just in case um, the recipient would like to put something on the label. I'm going to be putting that band just a little bit higher uh, than that label. And let me just 
mark of my pencil and about um you know a little over an inch from the spine is where i'm going to be making my hole for that and i do have a long reach crop a dial for that let me just line her up there okay there we go now you can if you do not have a long reach hole punch you can use a, a pokey tool like an awl and make the hole but you'll have to keep experimenting to where you make it enough for your grommet to fit in so you don't want to make a big one right away you'll want to make a little you know a little small one then you'll have to line it up and see how it fits um, it's a little bit more fiddly to do it that way but it is possible to do that so let me just put that little grommet in there um, I'm going to set it up and for the base I'm using the copper colored uh, base because there's like four bases on here I'm using or brass actually it's brass this is copper it's more of the brass uh, shaded one uh, on my handheld crop dial there's numbers but I don't see numbers so this is a uh, kind of a brass one and then I'm using the larger you do have a couple of uh, these parts here um, I'm using the larger one that stud that comes down there like so and we'll reach in there and we will um, go ahead and line up the two together and make the um, put in the oops, grommet all right and um, now we're going to put the elastic in there have um, some elastic cording that I have bought and this is uh, 1.2 millimeters now two millimeters I used to use and I like that as well but I got the 1.2 because it's just slightly thinner and uh, I use it in more projects than I do the thicker one but it doesn't matter the size, whatever it is you like to use. You can pick um, you can pick up smaller. I mean, this is a lot to buy if you don't do a lot. But you can pick up small packages in the jewelry section. Uh, at Hobby Lobby, I know for sure, and probably other places, Michaels or whatever. And it's like for stretch necklaces that you may want to put beads on or whatever. And it that's where um, I used to get it until I bought it in bulk. So what I want to do is I want the, oops, first of all, I got to put my signatures in here. I want it to, I'm going to hold uh, the tail here, a tail with my thumb, and I want it to wrap around, I'll just put the tail out there, all the way around and be, you know, somewhat snug, not necessarily tight because you want this to grow a little bit, but snug. Um, I would say and then I'll trim off a tail here and put inside okay inside there let me uh, I know it's tricky I think this is about right for a preliminary measurement and then I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to make um, very loose knot very very loose just enough to catch on that grommet and let's just see how I like this all right that's a little too loose so I'm going to tighten up the knot a little bit more shove it down the line a little bit more let's see how we like this all right that's about right and that still gives room for whomever wants to put you know more things inside here okay and so now uh, I'm going to 
probably make it just a wee bit more. Okay, there, that's good. And I'm going to make uh, this one knot here. Tighten it pretty well. And then I'm going to make a second one. So, with these two knots here, that should catch pretty well on my uh, grommet without going without going through. There, perfect. Now, it it is possible to pull this out, right? I'm just going to cut the tails off a little bit here. It is possible to pull this whole thing out for sure. Uh, but if you want to make it so you don't lose your cording, you can hang a charm on here and that will stop it from going through on, on, um, on this end. You put it, hang a charm on there, it'll catch on there so that this won't pull all the way through. So you can do that as well. Um, for right now, it's going to be easier for me just to lay this aside uh, to finish off sewing in the signatures. And now our signature is sewn in. And all ready to go. There we go. Very nice. And now I can put in my elastic band. Now I'm going to put lace right down here over the spine. Uh, it reinforces the spine as well as it looks nice. And I'm going to get uh, a little bit of this vintage lace here. And it's I'm towards the end of it. Really hate it when I get to the end of a vintage lace. It's like I'm going to miss you. <laughs> And I'm going to put the uh, scallop side, I believe, towards the front. I kind of like that look. That's really cute. Let me cut that off there. And I'm using glitter glue. Now, you know, you can use Fabri-Tac, but uh, when you use Fabri-Tac on lace, it's a little tricky because it can be very shiny. This lace is pretty delicate, but if you happen to get a lace that has... Uh, parts of it well like this part right in here you can see a little bit more solid so this would be a good place to put Fabri-Tac on uh, maybe just a little bit uh, dab it around these little petals you can find places on lace that seem to be a little bit more solid than other places and you can use Fabri-Tac that way so that you don't get all that shininess but um, Glitter glue really does a fantastic job, and I, I'm sure I think Aline's uh, line of glues make a white glue or a dries. You want a glue that dries clear, and that's that's the whole key. Um, oops, looks like I am kind of bouncing around here, so I'm just going to start off with putting a little bit of glue on the spine and a little bit towards the front about the width i think the lace is going to go on here and then we'll just start out that way so i'll make sure that the middle of the lace is on the spine or at least close to it so yeah that looks that looks about right so we'll just uh Press that down and we can always go back in and put glue on those little spots that we may have missed. And then I'm going to go ahead and put glue down here. It looks like it comes down quite a ways. So get the edges. There we go. Like so. Yeah, so when it dries clear then um, you don't have that shininess. Now, when, you, when I use glitter glue, I do have to hold down fabric for a little while for it to kind of take. It's not quite as instant as Fabri-Tac, but it's pretty. It's pretty close. Pretty close. So that's very nice there. And then I'm going to come back in here and I can see where I need to add 
little bit on the edge here. You don't want it to peel back. So it's just going to go in here and secure that part. All right. Very cute. I love it. And we'll just uh, snip off the excess. There we go. And there is our little TN finished. And um, great. So thanks so much for following along. Um, just a little craft along, just a something to put on the background while you make your own projects or you know if you want to get ideas for future projects uh, so that's that and i'll be doing a flip through and listing on etsy in a day or so and uh, starting another probably one more christmas junk journal and i think i'm going to make this one a grungy one so thanks for watching talk to you later bye